नमस्ते वेलकम टू पैप्सन डिस्टेंट लर्निंग एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम विथ जनता टेलीजन दिस इज ग्रेड नाइन सब्जेक्ट इज साइंस एंड टुडे इन साइंस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एनर्शिया ओके सो व्हाट इज एनर्शिया एंड इट्स टाइप एंड सम एप्लीकेशन अफ दैट एनर्शिया दैट वी विल डिस्कस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एनर्शिया सपोज आई हेव वन ऑब्जेक्ट हि राइट and if i put this object in some places then until an external force is applied on it the object will be in on state for example now it is in rest then until an unbalanced force is act on it the object will remains on rest forever right so this kind of property of the body which remains its own state that uh, property of the body is known as this inertia so we can also define this inertia as a inability of a body to change a state of its own that is called the inertia so if the object is on some certain state then it remains on it if uh, the unless the external force is applied on it which is known as this inertia so there is three type of inertia is there one is called the inertia of rest second one is called inertia of motion and third one is called inertia of direction so let's discuss about this three type of inertia that is inertia of rest inertia of motion and the inertia of a direction so first let's see inertia of rest so first one inertia of rest so uh, this inertia of rest mean it is a property of the body due to which it resists a change of a state that is rest that means so whenever the object is at the rest then it tries to remain in the rest this property of the body is called the inertia of the rest so until an unbalanced force is act on it then it remains on the rest this property this resisting property of the body is known as the inertia of the rest okay and this inertia of the rest to change this rest into the motion some certain external force should be applied one then only it will change the state from rest to the motion so this kind of uh, the natural property of the body is known as a inertia of rest so some example let's discuss about the inertia of the rest so uh, you might have travel in the vehicle right suppose the vehicle initially it is in the rest we are inside the vehicle which are initially at the rest if the vehicle suddenly start suppose i'm standing like this in the vehicle which is in the rest right if the vehicle suddenly start then my upper portion of body it tries to remain a uh, move into the backward direction that is due to the inertia of a rest i think it is clear one right once again i will say so this is the vehicle initially at the rest and if the passenger are there inside the vehicle which are initially at the rest if the vehicle start suddenly then if this is the suppose passenger then this passenger try to move in the backward direction it tries to lean in the backward direction this is the inertia of rest this is due to the inertia of rest so what will happen uh, why the passenger that lean in the backward direction let's see suppose initially the vehicle is in rest and the passenger their whole body part is in rest right the passenger its whole body part is in the rest so as soon as this vehicle comes in the motion the lower portion lower part of the passenger which is connected with the vehicle that comes in the motion along with the vehicle but upper part of the passenger it tries to remain in the rest due to the inertia of rest that means upper part is in rest and the lower part that is in the motion mean the passenger that will lean in the backward direction so let me clarify this with the help of uh, the video you can see in the screen over there the vehicle is there initially it is in rest right so the passenger standing on the vehicle right whenever the vehicle comes in the motion 
then the passenger lean in the backward direction. The, what is the reason of this fan is due to the inertia of rest. So whenever initially the passenger along with that vehicle that is in the rest, right? Both the passenger and the uh, vehicle that is in the rest, when the vehicle is in motion, then you can see in the screen that lower part of the passenger that move in the forward direction along with the vehicle, right? Whereas the upper part that remains in the rest, uh, this is due to the inertia of a rest, okay? So the passenger lean in the backward direction when the passenger, when the vehicle suddenly start, okay? So next one is uh, whenever we jerk the tree, right, the fruits fall. That is also due to the inertia of rest. So what I have said, when we jerk the branch of the tree, then the fruits fall. Suppose this one is tree, right? And uh, there is some fruits are there in the tree, okay? If I initially, initially the trees as well as the fruits, they are in the rest, right? If I jerk this tree, then the branch and the trees that come in the that comes in motion due to the force, right? Whereas the fruits, it tries to remain in the rest due to the inertia of rest. And due to that, the fruits get detached and fall. So this falling of the fruits when we jerk uh, the trees is also the, uh, the example of the inertia of rest. That also due to the inertia of rest, the fruits get fall or detached, right? Similarly, uh, uh, the carpet, right? Uh, if there is dust particles are there in the carpet, then uh, we sheet with the help of stick to remove that dust particle. That is also due to the inertia of rest. So how this is inertia of rest? Suppose this one is carpet, right? There is a dust particles are present in this carpet, right? Dust particles are present on this carpet. So when we sheet uh, this carpet with the help of stick, then the carpet will comes in the motion. So if I hit with the stick, then carpet comes in the motion, but the dust particle stay on the rest due to the inertia of rest. So this is in motion and the dust particle is in rest, means the dust particle falls in the ground due to the gravity. So this uh, striking the uh, carpet and the falling of dust also due to the inertia of a rest that dust particle can be removed by beating the carpet uh, due to the inertia of rest. Clear? Similarly, if we jerk that carpet also, the dust particle get skipped or we can remove the dust particle that is also due to the inertia of a rest. Okay? And similarly, if we strike the windows pan, especially the glass pan, with the help of bullet, then the certain portion hole only made on that glass. The remaining part, it doesn't get break. That is also due to the inertia of rest. So what I mean is, suppose this is the glass pan, right? If I strike the bullet on this glass pan, then the bullet is in motion, right? And the motion of the bullet get achieved by certain portions of a glass pan only. What I mean is, if this is the bullet, then if I strike this, in this glass pan, then the area of this glass pan with which the bullet get attached, that portion only the motion is achieved by that portions of the glass only. That's why the certain hole is made on that glass without breaking the glass pan. So the hole, small hole made on that glass pan uh, after striking by the bullet is also due to the inertia of a rest. Yeah. Okay. Similarly, uh, you, this activity you can do in your home also. Take a one glass, right, and uh, cardboard. You can take card also and one coin, right. So initially, let's put that coin above of the card, which are kept above of the glass. So if you strike the card hardly, then you can see that the coin will fall on the glass. Right? That is also due to the inertia of rest. So let me explain how it is possible. So this is glass, let's say, right? And uh, we have kept the cardboard and the one coin on the above of that, 
right? If you strike the card hardly, then the card comes in motion. Due to the force applied on it, the card comes in the motion, whereas the coin remains in the rest due to the inertia of rest. That is why the, the coin will fall on the glass. So, this is also example of this inertia of a rest. So, this coin will fall in the glass due to the inertia of rest. Similarly, whenever the horse riders are there, the horse starts suddenly, then the rider will get moved in the backward direction. That is also the inertia of rest. Due to the inertia of rest, it will be. And uh, if there is pile of books are there, and if we put the, some paper inside this, and if we strike uh, that hardly, or if we pull that very hardly, then the pile of book that does not get affected, that is also due to the inertia of rest. Similarly, whenever you uh, play the carom board, right? There is a pile of digs are there on the carom board and if you strike hardly, then the lower part only will be get uh, scapped on that pile. That is also due to the inertia of rest. So, these are the some example of inertia of rest that takes place in our daily life, okay? That is the inertia of rest. So, similarly, next one, inertia of motion is there. Right? And this inertia of motion also, if you kick the football, right? if you kick the football then the ball is in motion. Right? And uh, there is a special natural property is there which tries to make the ball uh, roll forever right? or move forever or keep in rest continuously. That kind of natural tendency which keep the object in the state of motion unless an unbalanced force act on it is called the inertia of motion. So, it is the property of the body which resist to change the state of motion of a body is called the inertia of motion. That means, if we kick the ball in the moon, if there is no any kind of resisting force is present over there, then the ball get roll forever that property is known as a inertia of motion, clear? That means, the, uh, the object in motion, it tries to remain in motion unless an unbalanced force act on it, that is due to the property called the inertia of the motion, right? And this, uh, the body which are in the uniform motion, it neither get accelerate one or neither get retarded one if there is no external forces applied on it. It continue on its motion unless an unbalanced force is act on it, which is called the inertia of a motion. So, let us see some of the example on this inertia of a motion. So, again one uh, the figure, the videos is there. Whenever the bus suddenly comes in the wrist, the passenger they lean forward direction. Right? or they jerk in the forward direction, that is also due to the inertia of motion. So, what will happen? Let us see. <coughs> Initially, the bus, they are in the motion. Right? Along with that motion, uh, vehicle, the passengers, they are also in the motion. Right? When the vehicle suddenly stop, then the lower portions of the passenger which is attached with the vehicle, they also comes in the rest. But upper portion of the passengers, they will remain try to uh, stay in the motion state, due to which they will jerk in the forward direction. This is due to the inertia of a motion. So, let me explain this once again. Suppose this is in the motion, right? Vehicle and the passenger is there, they are in the motion. Right? If the vehicle suddenly comes in the rest, the lower portion of the passengers, they comes in the rest along with the vehicle, because they are attached over there. They are uh, on, stay on that vehicle, that is why lower portion, they comes in the rest. But this upper portions of the passengers, they tries to remain in the motion, due to which they will lean forward or they will jerk in the forward direction. And this is due to the inertia of a motion. That is why the passenger as when the vehicle suddenly comes in the wrist, the passenger jerk in the forward direction, that is due to the inertia of a motion, right? Similarly, when the passengers, they jump from the moving vehicles, then 
he or she will fall down. So you can see in the video also, right? If they travel certain distance along with the vehicle, they will not fall down. But if they suddenly stopped after jumping, then that caused the uh, that caused the person or the passengers uh, fell down on the ground. That is also due to the inertia of a motion, right? What will happen over there is when the vehicle is in motion, right? The passenger also in the motion, right? The passenger also in the motion. And if he or she jumps from that moving vehicle, then the body part of that passenger tries to remain in the motion due to which if he or she suddenly comes in the rest, then the body will fall for down, fall for, uh, forward directions and he just fell down. That's why to be safe when we jump from the moving vehicle, we need to travel some sort in distance along with the directions of the vehicle so that we will be safe. So the falling of the passengers uh, when they jump from the moving vehicle also due to the inertia of a motion, okay? Now, next one is there. You can see there one vehicle, right? And the one person is there, he just throw the ball, right? And again, after some times, he get the ball in, in, in his own hand. This is also due to the inertia of the motion. So how that is possible is, initially the vehicle is in most, sorry, race, uh, motion, and uh, the passenger or the people, one people is there, that is also in the motion, along with that, the ball also in the motion, right? So when he throw that ball in the air, initially the ball is in the motion, that means the ball acquire the motion, positions of a motion along with the vehicle. That's why the re-catching of ball is possible after certain durations also. This is also due to the inertia of a motion. In most probably, it is possible in the maximum case, but in some case, if there is less mass, then that will be a difficult one to get the ball in the moving vehicle one. But also in maximum case, we can get the ball back in our own hand when we throw that in the moving vehicle. This also sometimes whenever you are traveling in the bus, this also you can try, okay? So this is due to the inertia of motion. So next one, pictures you can see over there. You might have seen the athletes, right? And uh, the athletes before jumping, before taking the long jump, they need to run some distance, right? That means before, uh, before taking the long jump, if they run some certain distance, then they can acquire or they can uh, travel the more distance after the long jump, right? And why they take some distance, uh, some uh, distance they will travel before long jump is when they run, right, before long jump, then they will be in the state of motion. Their body will be in the state of motion. And that makes the, uh, the object or the body get in the motion state on the jumping condition on also. That's why they can jump for the longer distance in the long jump. So for acquiring the more distance in the long jump, they run certain distance before the long jump. That is also due to the inertia of motion, okay? Similarly, if we stop pedaling in the, during the cycling, then also some certain uh, distance will travel by the cycle. That means it uh, stay in the positions of motion if you stop pedaling also. That is also due to the inertia of a motion. The inertia of motion makes the cycle in the motion state st after stopping the pedaling also. That is also due to the inertia of a motion, right? And you might have seen the electric fan. When you stop the uh, electricity or when you switch off the electric fan, the electric fan goes on moving for the certain durations one. That is also due to the inertia of motion. How it is possible? Uh, whenever the switch is on, then the electric fan is moving, right? It is in the state of motion. And when we stop the, elect the switch of the electric fan, due to the inertia of motion, the blade continuously rotates for the, some certain duration. And uh, due to the presence of this air, due to the presence of the friction, it comes in the rest. But if there is no air and no friction is there, then that blade continuously move. But in practical, uh, 
a practical life that comes in the wrist after the sort in duration that is also due to the, elect the uh, this inertia of a motion okay similarly if the shoulder is running right if the commander says stop he or she cannot stop on the same time he or she has to travel the certain distance that is also due to the inertia of motion that means if we run then if he wants to suddenly stop then it is not possible one after certain uh, duration only after traveling a certain uh, the length only the body comes in the rest that is due to the inertia of a motion so they are some example of the inertia of a motion in our day to day life okay and third one is there that is the inertia of direction so uh, you might have traveled the vehicle right in the vehicle you might have travel and when the bus suddenly turn into any direction then our body also react on that isn't it for example if we are moving in the forward direction if the uh, vehicle turns in the right then our body is try to escape towards the left isn't it for example if we are moving like this in the forward direction right if the vehicle suddenly turns in the uh, right right then our body will try to escape towards the left that is due to the inertia of a direction one so it is the inability to change the directions of a moving object that is called the inertia of a direction that means it tries to remain in its own state of motion in the certain direction that is called the inertia of a direction one and due to this uh, the in our day to day life we feel whenever we right turn whenever the vehicle left turn when we are traveling inside the vehicle then we can feel that kind of experiences this is due to the inertia of a direction one clear similarly uh, you might have traveled sometimes in the back back side of the vehicle in the rainy season right in that condition the tire of the vehicle they throw the water as well as the sometimes the mud if there is presence of the mud that is also due to the inertia of the direction clear yeah? so when the tires are there and the tires is keep rolling right that is keep moving on the circular direction and when the mud and the water they lies on the tire then due to the uh, this inertia of the direction one they will throw tangentially so we get some spot of the mud and the water if we traveling behind the vehicle on the rainy season or in the muddy road that is due to the inertia of a direction one so these are the some practical uh, the cases in our daily life about the inertia of motion inertia of rest and similarly inertia of a direction one clear okay so uh, let's see the relations of uh, mass and the uh, inertia so let me give the one example if there is a ball right if there is a football is there then if i say to kick then you can easily kick and the ball will move in the forward direction right but if instead of ball if i keep the stone over there right if i say to kick the stone then is that possible to move the stone by kicking it is not possible one what is the reason behind that is this is the football it has a less mass right if there is a less mass is there then its inertia of rest also will be less the property of the body to stay on its own position that will be less that's why the less energy is uh, enough to make that change into the motion that's why whenever you kick the ball it can easily move but if uh, the stone is there instead of uh, this ball then whenever you apply the force then that force may not be enough to bring that in the motion position that's why the conclusion we can draw from this fan is the inertia it is directly proportional with the mass the more mass more inertia less mass less inertia it is directly proportional with the mass right uh, that's why the more energy are required to bring rest the heavy vehicles one than the lighter vehicle one right similarly we can pull the uh, small stone easily but it will be difficult to pull the push the uh, larger stone that is also due to the more mass so we can conclude more mass 
more energia, less mass, less energia. So you can do one activity in your home also to prove this one, okay? You take the two identical bottle, right? Take the two identical bottle and uh, one bottle you will fill with the water, right? Another bottle you keep in pity. Take a two identical bottle, one is you fill with the water and another you fill the empty one, right? Then if you hang the both uh, bottle, right? Hang the both bottle on the some certain places and you make move the both bottle up to the same distance, then the bottle, right, to come in the rest, the object or the bottle which contain the more mass, it takes more time to come in the rest. Because if you fill that with the water or some certain object, then more mass will be there. And if there is more mass, then the more inertia will be there. In that condition, the uh, it takes more time to come in the rest. That's why we can conclude that the more mass, more inertia, and the less mass, less inertia. So it is a relation between inertia and the mass, okay? Now, uh, the next one is momentum is there, okay? So, uh, whenever you catch the tennis ball, or if I hit uh, you with the help of that tennis ball, then it painless, right? And, but if I hit you with the help of that cricket ball, then it pain more, isn't it? That means the, if I hit with the help of tennis ball, less uh, force or less hard get by us. And if we hit by the cricket ball, then more hard will be there, isn't it? That means the reason behind this is the more mass is there for the cricket ball, which cause the more hard thing, and the less mass is there of the tennis ball, that's why the less hard will be there. Similarly, if I, uh, sh if I strike uh, you with the help of stone, then it cause the less hard. Right? If I strike with the help of the uh, stone with the greater speed, then it get hurt more. That means the, that force also get influence with the help of that velocity also. So the momentum is the product of mass and the velocity. The product of mass and the velocity can be defined as the momentum one. So we can write down the formula, the momentum represent by P equals to mass, symbol is M by velocity. This is V, right? So momentum can be defined as the product of mass and the velocity. The SI unit of this momentum is mass, its SI unit is kg and velocity is meter per second. So kg meter per second is the uh, SI unit for this momentum one, yeah? More SI unit is kg meter per second is the SI unit for the uh, momentum one, okay? And this momentum, it is vector quantity, right? The momentum, it is, because it is depend upon the mass and the velocity, and the velocity is the vector quantity. So momentum also the vector quantity, and the directions of this momentum will be the directions of the velocity one. Yeah, the velocity, sorry, the directions of this momentum is equivalent with the directions of this velocity one. So uh, today uh, we have discussed about the inertia and the three type of inertia also we have discussed. That is inertia of rest, inertia of motion, and the inertia of direction. And we have defined this momentum also. So in the next class, we'll discuss more about this. So. Uh, thank you very much for joining the class. Thank you very much, everyone.